In Creo Parametric 9.0, geometry selection applies smarter context evaluations in the following two scenarios. First, for selection workflows involving multi-body models, and second, for selection workflows related to visibility control. The first enhancement relates to optimized feature context evaluation when selecting geometry in the graphics. Typically, the feature that created the geometry is used as feature context of that selection. That means that feature is located in the model tree and additionally in other trees, such as the design tree, in case the auto location option is turned on. And that feature is also used when you pick a command from the feature context row in the mini toolbar, such as edit dimension, edit references, or edit definition in this case. With the introduction of multi-body models and Boolean operations such as body merge, this logic now identified the merge feature as the feature that created the resulting geometry, which also received a new surface ID. That was not ideal, as users would typically want to directly interact with the feature that created the geometry originally. Creoparametric 9.0 re-establishes that behavior by smartly investigating the history of the selected geometry, skipping the Boolean and split operations, and evaluating the feature context of the selection to be the prior feature. As a result, the order locate function, the mini toolbar commands, the select related command, and the show snapshot command, as shown here, will consider the original feature for the interaction. Please note that you can still very easily force the Boolean feature to be selected by pressing the Alt key during selection. As illustrated in the video, this will result in the merge feature being auto-located or being redefined when invoking the edit definition command, for example. The second enhancement relates to optimized container context evaluation in part mode. If you select geometry in the graphics and then invoke visibility control commands such as show hide from the mini toolbar in the graphics area, Creo will no longer apply this hide unhide action onto the feature, but it will apply it onto the related quilt or body. That means the command acts on the container holding the selected geometry. The first example shows this for a selected quilt surface, the second for the selected round surface on the solid body. In particular, in the latter case, hiding the feature would not even have an effect as the solid geometry of the round cannot be hidden without hiding the entire body. This aligns the part mode behavior with the assembly mode where components represent the container context. Hide show commands triggered from a geometry selection therefore continue to hide or show the related component or components.